Login, Google. Okay, now I am able to log in and register with just Google. That. Then click here to add new plugin for Google login. Then search uh, plugin name. Super for slider. It provide of all type of social login, but for now we'll use Google login only. Just install it and activate. Now uh, you will show option of super socializer. It has three to five options, but we need it for only social login. You just disable all other options. Like social commenting, we if we don't need it, we'll just disable it. Just click here and it will be disabled. Now social login we need, we will enable it. Okay. You will enable social login. Now here you can see select social network these are all set uh, social network that can be used for login through this plugin for now we will only select google so we need to add google client id google client secret to activate it and now just go on advanced configuration now here trigger social login in cm browser central line icon enable log at login page and register like if you want social login on only login page or if, if you want in on register just check box click the check box enable at comment form if you want social login on comment form then just now most important here for full commerce social login we need to enable it at login form and register form both. Now there is option like enable before WooCommerce custom login form. It means that when someone try to login, then first option will be shop social login. Then after that, there will be ID password login. For now, we will disable it because we first need ID password login and then we can social. Login. Enable at WooCommerce login. You can just enable it. You can design, uh, customize the view of social login icon and change the text according to your. Now just shape change. Well, social comment just go to show for a social sharing. Just go to show for socializer, social sharing. Just enable disable photo login. Now just shave it. Now we will find Google client ID. Check level for that. We need to go to. Google Development Company. Search here. Just click on it. Now and create or select select this. Create or select account. Click on it. Just select new project. Mm, type your project name like so. login save it. create after uh, now here yeah, project is creating Just wait for a few seconds now just select Now 
अपना प्रोजेक्ट सेलेक्टेड हाँ को ही क्लिक ऑन ओथ ऑन फ्रेंट स्क्रीन Now after that, click save and continue. Save and continue, and back to dashboard. Now we'll go on credential. Click here, create credential or the client ID. Select type name to we are using for web application. Select it. You can change name. Now here, we need to add authorized redirect URL. I can need to. Give the URL of your website and just remove slash. Remove that slash. Okay. Create. You know here, there is client ID and client ID you can download it. Just copy client ID and paste it here. And I'll copy client secret and paste it here. Okay. So these are two credentials. Now just shape changes. Now we will check if it's working or here. Now if I try to log in, then there may be error because first I need to register with my email ID. But I will register. Even I will select my Google account. Select it. Now you can see. Now I am registered. I don't have to do. I will. I just need to select my Google account. Now I will just log out and try to log in. I have registered to log in Google. You see, now I am able to log in and register with just Google. That's.